Fred Potter is grateful to be home tonight, but could be facing more jail time if his doctor says he's healthy enough. I got to get a letter from my doctor. Otherwise, I'll be back in jail again. Fred Potter returned to an almost empty home Sunday after a judge ordered him to hand over all of his belongings to be auctioned off. The walls were full of paintings and pictures. All the shelves, there wasn't a spot that didn't have clock or memorabilia. Or All that remains in Potter's home are a few pairs of shoes, the aftermath of a trust dispute. Potter and his wife had separate trust. Potter says his niece is in charge of his wife's trust and was supposed to give Potter money from income and rental properties. He says he never got those payments and his niece began to charge him rent, so he moved out of his Waldron home with all of his belongings. The judge said everything had to go and he said everything. So we done the best we could. He just don't realize what he's putting me through. After two days in jail, the Scott County Sheriff sent Potter home because of concerns over his health. His nephew has until Wednesday to get an updated doctor's note to the judge. When I look at him right now with his congestive heart failure, I see swelling on his arms and his ankles. If they say he's healthy enough to go back to jail, well, then I think that they're responsible for his death because I, I, I really believe he'll die in there. It's a reality that Potter has come to believe, too. I'll probably die there. because I can't take it. I've been, I had a several days of it. I know what it's like and it's no fun. I was lucky that I had inmates there that looked after me. 4029 News reached out to Potter's niece after he was released from jail. Her husband says they declined to comment. In Alma, Jamie Weiss, 4029 News. Uh, the proceeds of that auction are gonna be split between the two trusts, but no auction date has been announced yet.